and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. Hey everyone, in today's video I am out in a cornfield just west of the town of Rankin, Illinois with a John Deere 9570 STS combine with a six row corn head and running beside that is a John Deere 4850 tractor pulling a rare John Deere 400 grain cart. This is just not a grain cart you see every day and it made for a great video opportunity on this beautiful October day. I believe the grain cart you're seeing here was actually built by United Farm Tools for John Deere. This is approximately a 400 bushel grain cart, which by today's standard is pretty small, thinking about a lot of the combines nowadays have a bigger grain tank than this grain cart actually has. However, it's working out just fine in this operation. Some quick specs on the John Deere 9570 STS Combine here. This is powered with a Deere 6.8 liter 6 cylinder diesel engine. A couple different horsepower specs on here. At 4 RPM, approximately 264 engine horsepower. This does have some boost power for unloading on the go at 295 horsepower. This combine has a 221 bushel grain tank and can unload at approximately 2.2 bushels per second. Has a 200 gallon fuel tank and weighs approximately 30,000 pounds without the head. The John Deere 4850 tractor was built in Waterloo, Iowa by John Deere between 1983 to 1988. You could get these in either two wheel drive or mechanical front wheel drive like you see here. Back in 1983, a two-wheel drive version of this would have been somewhere around $70,000. Moving up to the four-wheel drive, like you see here, would have been slightly over $80,000. This was the biggest tractor in their lineup of this series. These were powered with a 7.6-liter .6 six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. That is also 466 cubic inches in size. These were rated at approximately 207 engine horsepower, 193 PTO horsepower, and these had a 15-speed full power shift transmission. A neighbor that I used to help had a John Deere 4850, and I got quite a bit of seat time in one of these. I filmed this on the afternoon of Saturday, October 24th. It was a very windy day. I got a total of four different farm videos this afternoon, and this is the first of those four. The other videos are the tractor and combine you've seen in the background there. I also got to film a Fent Ideal with a 50-foot Macdon header and an old Kloss Dominator 96 combine harvesting corn. Those videos will be coming in the near...
In the distance, you'll see another combine tractor and grain cart, and I will have a future video of that coming up. I actually filmed that first, and when I was leaving there to go to another location, I saw this John Deere 400 grain cart. That's what got my attention to pull in here and ask this farm if I could video them. That's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please go down there and hit that like button and feel free to comment below. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit subscribe. 
And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.